He's been a congressman for the past 20 years, before that a San Diego City Council member and before that school board president. Now he wants to be mayor of San Diego. He is the only one of the four leading candidates who does not support the pension reform ballot measure. He has his own plan instead, finally releasing it just weeks ago. Here's a clip from the KPBS mayoral debate last month. Uh, Congressman Filner, you have yet to release any major policy initiatives in this race, while your opponents have each issued several. Uh, your campaign pitch so far has essentially been, I'm the only Democrat, Democrat, vote for me. And can you provide more specifics about what a Filner administration would be like? I have one minute. I just outlined my pension plan. Uh, which says put a cap on uh, 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 no more six-figure pensions. I'm glad uh, Nathan has picked that one up from me. Joining me now is Congressman Bob Filner, and I want to get to your your own pension plan um, reform measure. But first, let's let's talk about this criticism uh, in terms of what this debate question highlighted. That a new poll now says that Carl DeMaio is out ten points ahead of you. Do you think you could have done something different, or you should be doing something different in terms of your campaign? Well, obviously the outcome will tell that. But uh, each person runs a campaign based on their you know their uh, their strengths and uh, the the, the uh, dynamic between the candidates and uh, their experience as I've had. I've won 25 elections in San Diego. Uh, I've been through this many times. I think I know how to do it, and I think it'll come out victorious at the end. You took some heat on this show for not having accurate or up-to-date information about the port, and we know that uh, the port is a major part of your economic platform. Do you think it's, it has to do with being in Washington for 20 years? Are you up to speed with, with all things San Diego? No, I was not wrong on the, uh, the port stuff uh, in that... Uh, uh, I said a few years ago, I probably meant 10 years ago, I have a wider uh, framework than most people do here because I've been uh, dealing with these issues a long time. The fact of the matter has not changed. That is, our port is the single biggest potential for increasing middle class jobs in this city that has not been exploited. Uh, whatever we have now, let's say we have $4 billion, we could double it easily. And the port agrees with me on that. So we can, in fact, increase the capacity immediately, and then we could expand capacity. We can produce thousands of jobs with, by becoming a true maritime center here in San Diego. I want to talk about pension reform because that has been something that's dominated this campaign. When you look at the four leading candidates, as I said earlier, you are the only one who does not support this ballot measure. You have your own plan instead, and you, you want to keep uh, guaranteed pensions for city employees. Does it put the city at risk down the road? You know, uh, first of all, we, we, we're stuck with a mess, right? It was caused by a stock market decline and uh, previous mayors who stole from the system. The question is, how do you do something that's fair to both taxpayers and employees? And we've made major steps in that. The current mayor has done major reforms in that he has brought up the city's, uh, the city workers' in, uh, contributions. He's brought down the city contributions. He's got eliminated uh, uh, some of the bells and whistles. So, but we have to go further because we have to decrease the debt and our annual payment. Our annual payment is approaching a third of our budget. You can't run a city like that. So I'm looking at that and I'm saying the, the plan that's on, on the ballot is very unfair because it says to employees, you have a 401k subject to the stock market but you don't have social security. That's just bet wrong. And it cost $100 million almost to set up, and it doesn't save a nickel, not a nickel, for taxpayers. So, so I'm saying, is there a better one that, than that? Is there a better of, plan than that? So let's just clarify, when it doesn't save money, basically unless the city negotiates a five-year salary freeze with employees, it won't save no, the it projected savings. It, 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 it presupposes a 0% a salary increase for five years, of which the employees, by the way, have already had a five- or six-year salary freeze. But that can't be done by the initiative. It has to be done by collective bargaining. Why aren't we at the table rather than in the courtroom, which this will result in? So I said there has to be a better way than this. And I said, first of all, nobody is, the, the horror stories that Mr. DeMaio and others tell are these $250,000 pensions. Well, that's a few management employees who have gotten phony pay raises from the city and bonuses in their last year. So their, their pension is twice their salary. That's wrong. So I put a cap, no more six-figure pensions, which I could do as mayor right away. That's a, not a negotiated thing. That's, uh, that's, that's in the purview of the mayor and the council. But more important, I'm one, I, I, since we don't have, we're, we're spending money, high interest rates, we have the lowest interest rates in the history of this nation. I want to take advantage of that situation, uh, finance part of that debt with lower interest rates, with bonds that say 2 2.5% lower interest rate. We save 
not just when you refinance your home and you save a few hundred bucks a month, but we're talking about a billion dollar bond. You're saving, I could say, $550 million over 10 years, put it right into the general fund to fix potholes with no new taxes, keep our libraries open, keep our rec centers open, keep the fire stations open. I want to just back you up when you said that you had a couple of mayors, we had a couple of mayors who stole from the pension fund. What you're really responding to is that it was underfunded. Is that, no, is no, that no, what you no, mean? No, what do you mean no. stole from the... I, I, uh, one, one mayor uh, mayor uh, 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 Murphy wanted to build a, a, a uh, Padre Stadium and he said no, no public funds. Mayor Golding wanted to have a Republican National Convention there. She said no public funds. So what they did is they winked at the employees. They took it out of the pension uh, uh, fund, which is they consider not public money, winked at them and said, we'll raise your benefits. Just don't say we stole the money. No, they literally stole the money to finance parts of the uh, ballpark uh, financing, parts of the uh, of the convention, uh, the bringing the Republican convention here. That I call theft. I want to move on. We haven't got a lot of time left, but so Nathan Fletcher left the Republican Party, surged in the polls. Do you think that decision, where now you've got perhaps Democrats who, who um, really Maybe they didn't want to vote for you. They have an alternative now. Do you think that's hurt you most in this campaign? Well, I don't campaign? know if anything's hurt. We'll see. As I said, uh, in three weeks we have, we'll have the polls. I mean, real voting. But uh, I, I think it was a, it was a, uh, last gap, a last gap maneuver by Mr. Fletcher. He did not get the Republican uh, endorsement, which he wanted, and he tr tried very hard to do, and he outlined how long he'd been a Republican, what he did. And all of a sudden he doesn't have the Republican endorsement. So he throws what we will call a Hail Mary pass, says, I'll be an independent. You can't change your record when you change your name. Uh, you still have a record of voting against education, against women's rights, against the environment, and all the objective scorecards reveal that. So we'll see how the voters respond to a change in name without having a change in, uh, in, uh, in real record. Uh, I like to say there's, a, there's still a, a, big, a big elephant in the room. Okay. Congressman Filner, thanks so much for being yeah, here. Thank you.